YouTube. Woo! This week, we're going to introduce introduce you to uh, a long term friend of mine, Adele. So, Adele, tell us what you do. Hi, um, thank you for having me. Um, so, I own Union Jack Media, and I do videography and photography for businesses. Super Very cool. cool. Are you ready for rapid fire questions? I sure am. Okay, I'm going to go first. So tell us, what are three things that you are really good at? Ooh, um, editing, video and photo, singing, Ooh. and drawing. Ooh, all the arts. Those are things yes. you're very good at and also you can get a sneak peek at all of those things if you follow her on social media and all her links will be in the description but um yeah i am like adele's biggest fan of her music so you definitely have yeah. to go check her out oh, thank you. um what is your favorite color and how does it make you feel oh my gosh it's changed a million times but i feel like my like childhood favorite was always like a turquoise cyan aqua kind of color which i recently found out is Our like brand color, my color. Oh. yes and what, it. what does it mean your color um i mean it could just be all bs but um i i saw an instagram reel that was like if you're um a scorpio you have like a, an assigned number and color which was cyan I Interesting. Like, well, I like that color anyway. Yeah. Okay. I think I'll make that my personality now. <laughs> <laughs> Must be true. I love it. Um, what is one habit that keeps you productive? Meditating. I meditate every single morning. I love that. Yes. What were you like as a kid? Ooh. Um. <laughs> I recently actually just interviewed my parents for <laughs> therapy about what my childhood was like. Mm. And my mom was just like, everybody loved you. Like you were just oh. so beautiful and so calm. Like you weren't crying all the time. And I was like, oh, sounds like I was an angel, <laughs> which oh, <I> changed <laughs> in my teen years. I'm sure I was uh, quite irritating when I was a teen. But yeah, pretty overall pleasant childhood it's awesome That's how good. many how many text messages do you send a day Ooh, I, I feel like it changes from day to day like usually i have the people that i know if i'm texting them and they reply to me right away i need to like keep it going because i might not hear from them for a week <laughs> okay but it, you know it's usually mostly personal just yeah. following up with people checking in how you doing yeah. What is your mission or purpose for your business? Um, my mission is to humanize other people's businesses. I think that um, we've been kind of in this society of um, gimmicks and we just want to sell to make money. And um, being a big part of the Mesa community, there's just people that have really cool stories as to like how they got to where they are. Yeah. And I think that if people hear those stories and they're more likely to support those businesses. Yeah. I love that. What is your go-to weeknight dinner meal? Ooh. Tacos. That's what I said. That's mine too. Yeah. <laughs> Me <Tacos>. too. <laughs> uh, what were you most nervous about when you started your business? What's one of your biggest business fears that you had to overcome? Um, I think acceptance, especially, um, branching off on my own being brand new, I always worked for other companies and I'd had to kind of like cover my tattoos and dress a certain way and act a certain way. So I was a little nervous of people accepting me for who I really am, which they have thankfully. So yeah, it was very nerve wracking in the beginning. Yeah. It's so weird how much we have to like unlearn in the entrepreneurship space compared to corporate and all of these mm -hmm. lessons that we internalize about ourselves and what gives us value when we show up to work is so different in entrepreneurship. It's very freeing. Yeah. So describe yourself in three words. Ooh. Creative, ambitious, talented. Those are good. Those are I like good. that. Good for you, girl. Okay, what is one of your biggest pet peeves? 
People chewing with their mouths open. <laughs> no hesitation. <laughs> it's been that since I was a teenager. Just close your mouth. Like, have some manners. <laughs> What's your favorite social media platform? Mm, Instagram. Mm. I feel like I get, it's like kind of in the middle for my age range. Like, I'm 34, so... I feel like TikTok is a little too young for me and Facebook is starting to be a little old, but on Instagram, you see things that get pushed from TikTok. So I see the things that are like trending. That's enough for me. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Do you, do you have any pets? And if so, what are their names? Yes. I have two dogs. Um, Token is the oldest and Rocco is the youngest. They've got like a seven year gap. Oh, wow. Yeah. When did you start your business? Uh, March of last year, 2022. Oh, awesome. Where is your favorite vacation spot? Ooh, you know, I'm actually leaving for Italy tomorrow morning. So I think it's going to be Italy. <laughs> I've never been. been. Oh, oh my gosh. I would love to go. That's like oh. definitely high on my bucket list. I'm yeah, so my jealous. parents are there right now. So I'm meeting them. Um, it'll be Friday by the time I get there, but they just keep posting pictures of all the yummy food and I'm just like oh, so excited to go. That's so cool. Yeah. That's a great, great answer. That's amazing. Um, what is one of your most unpopular opinions? Ooh. I feel like all of my opinions are unpopular. <laughs> <laughs> Start listing them. <laughs> um, I think it's becoming more popular, but mental health is just like so incredibly important. And I think that since we've been children, we've been kind of conditioned to be a certain way and to behave. And I think that everybody needs to connect to their inner child and be free and happy. Spoken like someone who seems to have just described that their actual child self didn't experience their inner child. (laughs) Maybe, yeah. I mean, I was Sorry, trying to trigger an existential crisis. Yeah, like, you know, I'm from England, so like I have British parents, so England is a lot more proper than America. So we were yeah. definitely learned like you're not gonna get your dinner from the server until you ask yourself and say please and thank you. So mm-hmm. that's the part that I like still think is important to be polite. But yeah, there were some moments of, um, but I just want to be a kid. Yeah. Yeah. What is one thing you wish more people knew about your industry or what you do? Mm. It's not as scary as it seems. I get most of my videos are like interview style. So people just get incredibly nervous. I'm like, it's just the two of us in a room and you can mess up and we can re-record as many times as you want, but there I get people that are shaking. So I think the advice I would say is just relax and be yourself and know that you will mess up. No, I think that's really important because even just from a photography standpoint, the first time I had photos taken, I was terrified and so much anxiety. And then um, also a whole new anxiety attack when I got the library back. Like I, it's, it's hard. It's hard when you haven't done it before. It's really tough. So I, I love that. What is your favorite candy? Ooh. Um, I'm going to go to England here. Um, it's called Crunchy and it is a, it's basically like honeycomb covered in chocolate. Mm. So when you eat it, it kind of just like dissolves in your mouth. It's so good. That sounds amazing. What did you eat for breakfast? Toast, like a true Brit <laughs> <laughs> and yogurt. What is one of your five-year goals or visions for yourself, your life or your business? Um, make a ton of money, obviously. That's like everyone's goal. But my big goal is to open a studio um, where I can shoot video and photo. And I already have visions of, you know, like those curtains that you have at like doctor's offices. Mm -hmm. I want those for like backdrops. So I can just be like this backdrop, that backdrop. And, um, but I also want to be able to rent it out to people that are more like beginning beginners, you know? Yeah. That's awesome. That would be so cool. Yeah. 
If you could donate $100,000 to any cause or charitable organization, where would you donate it? Hmm. I would probably donate it to, I don't know if this is a specific um, one, but like mental health for veterans. Mm -hmm. I feel like they don't get enough help. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Where is home for you? Hmm. Mesa, I would say, um, which I didn't ever think that I would say, but I lived here for about nine years and getting to know the community. I'm like, oh, this just feels comfortable. Yeah. I love that. What is your ideal birthday present? Ooh. A tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Gift card to get a tattoo. <laughs> That's awesome. What is your comfort favorite TV show? Ooh, right now I'd go with New Girl. Okay. Mm. okay. Interesting. What is some of the worst advice you've ever received? Oh. <laughs> um, behave yourself. <laughs> That's funny. What is your go-to Starbucks order? Ooh. Iced caramel macchiato. Okay. <laughs> that sounds delicious right now. <laughs> What's good. the most recent podcast you listen to? I believe it's called Higher Self by Danny Morell. He talks a lot about um, like feminine and masculine energies and how mm -hmm. both men and women can find a good healthy balance there. That's interesting. What mm -hmm. is your best tip for marriage or relationships? I'm single, so I don't know if I'm the best person to listen to. However... One that I think I have needed to listen to is you can't change the other person and you have to trust your gut. Yeah. That's good. What advice would you give yourself five years ago? <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just trust your gut. You're, you're worthy of better. Yeah. <laughs> what makes you angrier, road rage or being hungry? Ooh, hungry for sure. I hate being hungry. <laughs> it excites me that I get to eat, but I can't last for too long. When someone from out of town visits you for the first time, where is one place you always take them? I have um, family that comes from England and they usually want Mexican food because you don't really get that. Or steak is like much higher quality here. So I would say my parents' house for my dad to cook the best steak. Or I love Joyride in downtown Gilbert. Yeah. What are you working on this week? I know you're going to Italy, um, so I guess not much. Yeah. <laughs> I, have a, I have a couple of photos to edit. I actually got hired to do some social media photos for an esthetician who does Botox. So she just wanted some images of her to kind of like have text next to her face and so that she can do some promos. So that that's it. And then packing the rest of my stuff to go to Italy. So good. So good. I love that. Well, you are very good at short answer because we got through a lot of questions oh, wow. in awesome. this time. You're very succinct, but you had great answers. And this has been so fun. And I'm so glad that you were able to join us. If you want to connect with Adele, we do have her information in the description below the video. And um, new videos come out every single Wednesday. So make sure you like this video, show support for Adele and for us. And um, also we have our podcast, Big Brave Business. Anywhere you listen to podcasts, new episodes over there come out every Tuesday. Totally separate content. So you don't want to miss a thing. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye.